emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper, and it's a beautiful morning out here at the retreat location. And we're going to do a video this morning on, again, radio email. But this time we're going to send an email using my iPad here. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. Over my local area network and send it out on VHF Packet using the WinLink system and their program called PackLink. If you follow my channel at all, you know I do a lot of videos about radio email. But I haven't done a whole lot about PackLink, the program called PackLink. And that's installed on the computer there in the shed hooked up to a 2 meter radio for VHF packet and what that program does is it emulates a POP3 server so what I have here if you can see it is a draft email that I set up addressed to my comms prepper at gmail.com account and I'm going to go ahead and hit send and that email is going to go out over my Wi-Fi network to the computer in the shed and the packlink program in addition to controlling the radio also emulates a POP3 server and I'm not sure if you can hear that right now over there at the shed but that's packet tones that's that email actually being sent out over the radio so what I'll do is I'll grab the iPad here and I'll pause and we'll walk over to the shed you can actually see this happen okay guys here we are in the shed what I've got set up here is an older HP computer I actually just swapped that out and uh, put that computer in took out the old Dell hooked up to a TNCX and if you're following the channel, you've seen this modem in other videos. Hooked up to a Yaesu 2600M VHF radio. I think I got it set for 15 watts. And this is the PackLink application. And I'll put links down below. You can see how the screen is split. This side is the radio side, and this side is the email side. And this program is actually acting like an email server, a POP3 server. So I can use my iPad or any other computer that has a... POP3 compatible email program to send and receive emails over radio, in this case VHF, in other instances I've done HF email, and then the email will come in on this side of the program, and then it will go over here to the radio side and actually do the transmission. So again, I have the iPad set up here with an email ready to go out, and there actually should be one in the system now. So I'll go ahead and hit the send button here, and you should be able to see this event take place on the computer. There you go. It's opening up a port. It's saying connection pending. And now it's keying up the radio and the packet modem. And it's sending one message out. And now we're actually receiving an inbound message. And we got a message in. On VHF packet and we have a disconnect request the radios are done talking and what I'll do is I'll make the iPad check for email and you'll see an entry coming down here a pop link request and it will download the email we just received and there we go we got a bling here on the iPad and there we have a test message from the comms prepper at gmail.com so that's a VHF packet radio using PackLink to send and receive email with an iPad over a wireless network here at the retreat location. So I can leave the radio set up here in the shed and from the comfort of the house over there I can sit by the fire and send and receive email and still be connected to the internet even if I don't have access to the internet locally. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a demonstration on winlink.org's PackLink email application for radio email. Thanks for watching, guys.